All right, guys, today I've got a story to tell. So I woke up this morning late, figuring I'd uh, shoot a video on something. I hadn't quite made up my mind on what I was going to shoot a video on. Well, this morning as I'm on my way to get breakfast, I found out what I was going to work on. So today we are working on my 1985 Chevy C10 short bed truck. And we're doing this because uh, this morning I woke up, heading for breakfast, cranked up the truck, listening to that beautiful camshaft, put it in reverse, start backing up, I'm hitting the brakes, I'm hitting the brakes, I'm hitting the brakes, I'm hitting the brakes, I'm pumping the brakes, nothing's happening. The truck is going backwards I look to my rear view or my side mirror look behind me there's a trailer to my left behind me I jerk the steering wheel avoiding that trailer I look to my right I've got my car trailer over there truck heading for the car trailer I jerk the truck to the left still pumping the brakes this whole time and at that moment I decide to throw it in drive and when I threw it in drive it stopped about six feet shy of going into the swamp. So today, we are gonna fix the brakes on my truck. And uh, we're gonna do some other things along with that. It's just the brakes are gonna be number one on the list. So, uh, there are two different master cylinders that, three, three different master cylinders that go on this truck. And I'm hoping I found the right one. So I had to order it. And it came in, got in about 30 minutes ago, and I grabbed it. And uh, we are going to throw that master cylinder on this, bleed the brakes, um, and then we're going to go ahead and replace the brake pads because on the way here, I noticed a grinding sound. Sure enough, the rear or the front right uh, brakes are metal on metal. And I'm gonna try to just get away with dropping the pads in because at the local Advance Auto Parts, they want $96 a rotor. Oh my gosh. Since when did Chinese parts get so expensive? So I'm gonna drop pads in because I don't have any brake pulses. That's going to save me $200 on this brake job. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And there's some other things uh, as well I'm going to do to this truck. I got some lowering shackles. So I can lower the rear uh, of the truck. I also got some wheels and tires. They are pretty sweet. Thanks, Lou. Uh, I got a whole set. They're, uh, I'm not going to say what size they are. Y'all are just going to have to see. Uh, and I feel like there's something else I'm doing too. But first things first, I'm going to, oh, yes. I've got a horrible problem with uh, grinding on the st uh, starter. Uh, when I first was working on this when I first bought the truck and I had to I found out that the engine was stuck and it turned out it really wasn't the engine but someone put the wrong starter on it I did notice that there were some spots in this flywheel that were bad so uh, I got a new flex plate too so we'll be adding a flex plate so let's let's see if this thing's gonna do the horrible grinding sound uh, I'm gonna show that to y'all right now and then we're going to start with the uh, brakes and then I'm going to drive the truck to my old job. Uh, Russell's kind enough to let me borrow the lift. So we're going to be putting this truck on the lift to do the flex plate. All right, let's crank this up so you can hear how bad it is. It's bad. Grab my keys. That's it. All right, let me get an outside view. It's bad. All right, that wasn't bad. Let's try it again. 
Again, not bad. All right, you can kind of hear it. Thing sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds so mean. Okay, that was the fastest brake job I've ever done. Now I highly recommend on something like this to go ahead and do the wheel bearings and all that stuff, but uh, yeah, I didn't do it. Do as I say, not as I do. Um, I don't ever drive this truck out of town. I just drive it around in town. So, you know, it'll be all right. Did y'all see the brake pads fall apart when I took them out? So here's the backing. And here's what fell off. So what happened was when I cranked it up this morning to go back it out, one of the brake pads fell out. And when the brake pad fell out, uh, the brakes weren't engaging. So uh, nothing was happening until I kept pumping it. And then the piston finally uh, pushed out to the point where it started to grab. So. That was a scary moment this morning, and it's a shame the camera wasn't rolling for that. So I'm going to go out for a ride. I've got to go to dinner. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm meeting someone for dinner. So I'm going to go have the dinner, and then I'm going to come back, and then we're going to see about doing the other things I want done. So road test, and then we're going to work on it some more. So far, the brakes feel pretty good. The stop. Oh yes. I think I've got more brakes now than what I had before. Which is good. Because it wouldn't even let me power. Oh yeah. Alright, it's the next morning. I've got the truck uh, sitting in the shop on the lift. I got to lift this thing up and we will start to extract the transmission. <clears throat> Should be pretty straightforward. I've got the flywheel, I've got everything I need, just need to do it. So I just had this thing at the muffler shop the other day. Let me see what I think of his work. So the cross member, of course, makes it difficult to run the exhaust. So one side is under while the other side is over. I don't, I don't mind that. The welds look fantastic. These are fake Flowmasters. I'm not sure what brand they are. But uh, I think he did a great job. Uh, one of these days I'll get me a, a pipe bender and a welder and stuff.
All right, so now that I got the flywheel replaced, we are going to remove the starter and I'm going to go ahead and replace the starter while I'm at it. So, one thing I love about these old Chevys, the old ones, is the starters are usually easy to get to, usually. easy? That was easy. Starter in my hand. I think it just stripped out. It did. So this job just got harder. I'm going to have to drill it and helicoil it. Try cranking it up. Okay, so I got the starter on, got the flywheel. Let's hit the key, see what happens, see how it sounds. Sounds pretty good. I'm going to add is some lowering shackles and that's going to require cutting the bed. Here they are. Uh, all they are are some taller shackles which is going to raise the springs up uh, above the rear end a little bit higher. Uh, unfortunately I have to cut the bed to do it. Uh, the bed is not in perfect shape anyways. It's uh, got some dents in it. Got some rust in it. So I'm not going to feel too bad about it. So we're going to go ahead and raise this thing up and we are going to trim on the bed. It's pretty simple. Just going to raise her up. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. Up in the air, like at the very rear of the leaf spring, you have these shackles here. Well, Here's the new ones. A lot taller. 
and it's got to pass by here. So I've got to trim right here and uh, that'll give room for the spring to go up and it's going to drop it about two inches, uh, which, which will be great. Okay, so the finished product, the finished work, this is it. Looking pretty good. Yep. And that, uh, <laughs> that gray anises gets everywhere. All right. So, the piece de resistance. I'm putting some new wheels on it. Boom. So I've got some American Racing Torque Thrust 20s, and they're gonna go right on this truck. Happy Father's Day, Dad.